Hey, what's up? I'm Mike here on jamplay.com, and we're going to discuss the song for you, which is off of our record, Break the Cycle. Basically, this song came about, I had the riff kicking around, and it was something I played for Aaron. It's one of those things where, you know, being a guitar player, I always try to write more parts, and uh, Aaron came and said, no, just play that riff, I want to sing over that. Came up with the chorus and the bridge, and that's pretty much how the song came together. It's really not, not many parts to it, it's pretty straightforward, but uh, it's a song that did, did really well for us. It's in yet a different tuning. This is another tuning that I, I was using around, you know, I came up with actually for Break the Cycle and used it, on 14, and used it since, really. And it's a little different in the fact that I first have the low string is the G sharp again, which is tuned down to G sharp. The second string, because we tune everything down a half step, is a D sharp, so it's basically like an E string. What I do is I tuned uh, the fourth string, I tune that up a whole step. So it's an A sharp. So you can get a just by barring you get that that nice voicing of the chord. So A sharp, C sharp, F sharp, and A sharp. So that's this that's the way the strings are. Let's learn the song. There's not a whole lot to the riff. Um, it's three chords. It's mostly the right hand, you know, uh, the proper muting, down picking, and uh, just kind of getting the rhythm of it right. So uh, it starts off on the seventh fret, hammer onto the ninth fret, and basically I'm playing the, the bottom three strings. So what you do is you uh, hammer on to the ninth fret, hit the seventh fret. So this is the riff slow. That's going up to the 10th fret and sliding back down to the 9th, so it's... So this is a pretty simple riff. I mean, the thing that kind of makes it work is the, the palm muting and the slide that kind of occurs and I think kind of makes it a little bit a little bit different. So when you hit the first chord the chord that you hammer on you mute and the chord you slide to you mute. So that's always getting muted and the other two chords are played open so you're either hammering on to the second chord and muting or sliding to it and muting. So that's the riff. So the bridge part of the song also is, is pretty straightforward. I mean, it's really just muting on uh, one note. Uh, there's also like a, kind of like a phaser sound going along with it, and there's a little effect going on underneath. It was like a studio effect thing that we did. But, uh, and it's, it's basically, it's just one note and uh, strum it into a chord on the kicks. So it's more of the rhythmic pattern of it. So it's So after that picking part in the bridge and the kicks, the song builds up to kind of build back into the chorus. So we stay in the same position, which is the second fret on the fifth string, that chords, and to the open, you alternate between that and the open D. So it's... back into the chorus. So what's going on there is a, there's a bit of palm muting and, and stopping of the strings. So it's... And 
except the last time you do two chugs on the open D, and that kind of gets you back into the chorus. That's the chorus. Uh, again, not a whole lot to it, but what I like is uh, the way this tuning lends itself to have it, having a really nice voicing. So when you strum some of the higher strings, it it gives it a different uh, different sound to it. So the first chord starts out on the ninth fret, barring from the sixth string, and I pretty much bar all the strings. I hit the sixth string first, and then kind of hit from the fifth string down and let it ring out a little bit. So it's. And then I uh, play on the 10th fret from the 5th string down. And then I add on the 11th fret the on the 2nd and 3rd string, so it's... That's the first chord, well the first three chords, how they work. Fifth fret, fifth string. Sixth string, seventh fret. So it's. Then the first chord's the same again. Then it changes. So you do the fifth fret again on the fifth string. But you walk down a half step on the fifth string to the fourth fret. That plays twice through. So it's. One other little part that's going on in the chorus is a little lead line that plays over those chords just to kind of give, add a little bit of melody, uh, something else for the ear to kind of hear to just make the part a little bit more interesting. And uh, it's real simple. That's what it is. I think it has a little flanger on it also. And it's uh, 11th fret on the uh, second string. 10th. Slide up to the 14th and to the 13th. And that just repeats four times, so it's... Mm -hmm. 